Hey guys, RC here, back with FM19 episode 85 of our West Brom, current West Brom save. Started off with Enfield Town, moved to Barnett, and uh, ended up with uh, West Brom. Uh, started it off just as a, uh, you know, wanting to play Enfield Town as a fan-owned club. Uh, very small club, a lot of people probably don't know about them. Uh, they play in the London, I think it's the London area, Queen Elizabeth II Stadium. And uh, so that was starting at episode one. If you want to go check that out, we stayed there for a while. Uh, just finally felt the need for a change. Went to Barnett for a few years and then got a job in the Premier League with West Brom. And we're doing okay. So since the end of last episode, uh, we then went into the EFL Cup third round. Chelsea just took us to the woodshed. Uh, Chikwuma scored a goal right at the end of the first half, but we were down 3-1 at that point. Loot lost 4-1. Uh, we came back and we played Watford. We won 3-2. Uh, we were up 3-1. They got a 94th minute goal just to make it a little exciting at the end. But uh, Ramon, Esteban, Coleman, and Nyambi with goals for us there. Uh, Kilmarnock in group stage of Europa League. We beat 2-0. Francini. Franaschini got uh, a brace, both goals coming in stoppage time, the first one at the end of the first half, the other one at the end of the game. Uh, fortuitive timing, I would say. Uh, then we beat West Ham 1-0. Morgan Harris got a goal. Eric Garcia was sent off in the 88th minute. Burnley, we beat them 2-0. Franaschini got another goal. Morgan Harris with another goal. And then we beat Rapid Wine 1-0. Bobby Brady a name you haven't seen in a while. Uh, we played a significantly rotated squad in this one. You can look, uh, Jesus got the start in goal. El Amrani at, uh, at the right back. Glenn Craddock, Brady got in. Ramon Esteban got in. Everybody else was pretty regular. And then, ooh, excuse me. Sorry about that. I'll explain that again just in case you missed it last episode. Oof. Okay. Uh, then we beat Brighton 1-0. Franaschini, uh, another fortuitive goal, 95th minute. We dominated this one. We beat. We had 11 shots to their – they didn't have a single shot at all. On target, off target, not a single shot in the match. And we only managed one goal because we did play – uh, pretty rotated squad uh, because we knew Chelsea was coming up. So that's what we did there. Um, taking a quick look at the medical center, we've got four four injuries. Three of them are major. Ramon Esteban uh, tore his calf muscle in that uh, uh, group stage match. He'll be out another four months. Jake Robinson was hurt in training, a groin strain, five more weeks. Danny Olmo's been out for a week or so with a twisted ankle. He'll be out four more weeks, and Declan Rice played in those early uh, early matches, uh, the the uh, qualifying rounds for Europa. Uh, he, he's got three games played, and then he uh, had the hip injury. He has one day left, uh, and then he'll return to training. But probably going to put him in the U23s for a little while just because he's been out for so long. So real quick, just uh, what's going on with me if you missed last episode. Um, so I'm recording this on Saturday the something. Saturday the 18th. So yesterday I left left in the morning, went out to work, and uh, had, had some chest discomfort right around here in my chest. And... Uh, Made a couple of calls and about 11 o'clock wasn't any better. So I said, well, I'm going to go home. And, you know, it was really bothering me. So I came home, laid down for about an hour and a half. Hadn't gotten any better. So no pain in the shoulder or anything. None of the, no numbness, no tingling, just, just pain like right here. And uh, can you see that on the camera? You know, from like right here down to like right where my, you know, the top of your stomach. And, um. Uh, so I went to the emergency room, they did an x-ray, blood work, they did a CT scan, and uh, blood work came back normal, 
no blood clots in the lungs, nothing with my heart. So they don't know what's causing the pain, uh, but they, you know it is there and it's it is a pressure. Uh, it hurts to swallow a lot uh, when I breathe deeply. It's painful, but there's a pain there pretty much constantly. And uh, every once in a while, it'll flare up, and you may see me grimace, but it's just you know something I'm dealing with right now. So anyway, let's get into what is going on today. So with uh, with that run, yes, we are top of the Premier League, boys. Ten games played, and we are one point clear of Liverpool, who's made a run. And then Chelsea, who was top of the league last time I think we checked, is now sitting 12th, 12 points behind us. So we're doing relatively well. If we look at the normal top six, you got what? Liverpool, Tottenham, Man City, Arsenal, Man United in 7th, and Chelsea in 12th. So interesting. So uh, the usual suspects down in relegation. So this is going to be, and, and we're also top of the table in group stage for Europa League. And I believe, well, we, we play, what, three more games? Yeah, so 12 more points. 12. 16. Yeah, so we're getting pretty close to, to getting out of this uh, completely. Uh, and getting getting into the next out of group stage. So anyway, today we're going to be playing Chelsea and then we're going to play, uh, I'm sorry, Chelsea and then we're going to play Rapid Wine in group stage to kick off the second half of group stage. And I don't know what we'll do there. I think uh, we'll probably come back for Kilmarnock and Man United maybe to finish out. And, you know, I don't know. We'll see how we're sitting in the group stage. We may not want to come back for that. And we may come back for United Villa, Arsenal, Man City, some, you know, somewhere down the road and then see what the next leg of uh, the Europa League has for us as well. Because again, I want to kind of make sure we get those on camera because I think that'll be the biggest deal. Anyway, uh, we are getting into the match so let me scroll back here there we are so we are underdogs don't like those kits at all uh on the road excellent form uh, but we are the underdogs we've only beaten chelsea once so you know all right well let's get into team selection we are the underdogs so i'm gonna play our more defensive I did have a match where I changed from attacking wingers to uh, support and relying more on the overlap, but we ended up not doing very well. Uh, Maguire. Marking, tackling. Yeah, you're not my favorite guy there. Uh, what is your deal? Your fitness level? But that's okay. I want you to play. You know, you're only going to get fit by playing, right? All right, Garcia is back. Strobel, Sinclair. Marking, tackling. Marking, tackling. I'll tell you what. First touch, dribbling, passing. No, his passing is okay. I was thinking about swapping those two guys. And Chikwuma, Franashini up top. And Bozdag is a fitness issue. Let's go ahead and get him on the bench somewhere. There he is. Fitness. And... Let's uh let's see how many goals do we have? Goals ten for Franashini, eight for Chikwuma. Bozdag with zero. Let's go ahead and put him in uh right there. We'll give him a start. And let's get to it. Yes, I understand they're lacking match sharpness.
quit eating shit that you don't even know what it is, and I don't know why it's back there. Uh. <laughs> All right, let's get to it again. Take two. All right, prove a point. All right, our last loss was to Chelsea. Come on, boys. Sergio Gomez. I think that was going wide anyway, but Caputo just made sure. Looks like Chelsea set up some apartment complexes there on the uh, corner of their pitch, huh? Some rent income to supplement uh, the millions and millions that they make. All right, knocked away. Good defense. Ingram, good job. Hoofed wide. Not, oh, good clearance. Get that shite out of here. All right, playing well. Playing some solid defense. We're not playing very well. They're, they're dominating us here, man. Uh, Caputo. Man, just all over the place. He's playing like a star. Another corner kick. How many corners do they have? Six already? Jesus. Another attack. Shit. Oh, off the woodwork it looked like. All right, knocked out. Another corner. Jeez. Oh my God, off the woodwork again. All right. Um, Jesus. I'm going to drop these guys to support. See if that helps us on our back line any at all. Boy, they're just, you could certainly see the difference in the level that we're at with everybody else to the level we're at with these guys. How they're 12th in the table, I don't know. They've lost three of their last four. That's what's caused it. You know, they've, they've gone in a tailspin. Actually, not bad since I made the tactical change. I, I'd be happy as hell with a draw. Oh, Rossi just stuns everybody. Are we going to have a kickoff highlight? Yeah. Caputo saves another one. Nyambi clears it out. <laughs> Jesus. I am contemplating. Actually, let's cancel, pause, tactics. Man, we're actually not playing too bad. All right, Chikwuma, I want him up top. And then mid-center. I think we're going to bring Morgan Harris on for Bozdag. And Chikwuma, he's doing all right. Strobel actually needs Glenn Craddock for Strobel. All right. All right, so there's our sub. Encourage. All right, Chikwuma, Nyambi. Chikwuma, Nyambi. 
Sinclair out wide. This is our first highlight, I believe. Played across to Ingram. Hooked in. Oh, just high. Oof. Ingram, another attack. Uh, he was looking for Chikwumba to use that pace. Now it looks like Chelsea are on the counter. Well, they were on the counter. Now they're holding up and just on the attack. Oh, a little heel pass. Oh, they're just farting around with us, aren't they? Back to the keeper. All right, they played it back to the keeper, got us a little spaced out. Oh, shit. Jaden Sancho, his fourth goal. That was a good cross. I thought uh, Caputo was going to go up and get that one, but it was not to be. All right. Um, let's put Franeschini in. I don't know if he can. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put him up top. Chikwuma can move out to the wing. Oh, oh no. Just the easy tap back. A nice little save. We had a defender there. Just a nice little tap back. More than we could handle. A tight Achilles. Oh, don't make it 3 0. All right, just run it out. There we go. 2 0. I mean, that's better than 4 to 1, right? But man, we just did not. Did not threaten at all. Yeah, it was disappointing. I, you know, we're starting to have higher expectations, right? They coast. Craddock's out one to three days. Oh, his tactical tinkering came undone. Well, no, that's what we normally play. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll be back for uh, for uh, Sports Club West. Who is that? What is it? West uh, Rapid Wine. We'll see you guys back here in a second. We're back for today's match. Um, <laughs> I don't usually wear my headset for my FM games, but you may notice they're new. Um, I had to go get a new pair this morning. My cats decided to chew on my cord. Uh, it was not dangling. It was actually up on my desk where I normally keep it. And uh, got home Friday from the hospital, and it was chewed to shit. <laughs> so uh, anyway, so these are actually wireless. There is a cord, but that's because it's charging. But these are actually wireless. Uh, work off of a USB. So uh, anyway, I do like them. They're pretty nice. Uh, they were on sale uh, for 80 bucks US uh, at Best Buy, regularly $100. Uh, the ones that I used to have uh, were a $50 set, which were great. I liked them, but uh, these are good so far. They are pretty comfortable, cushioned on top, nice ear, nice ear cones, but, you know, you can kind of see them there. But uh, they're called a, uh, let me get the box out just in case you're curious. Corsair Void Pro RGB. Cool. All right, well, let's get to today's match, and hopefully we can get a win. You can see our injury list, pretty lengthy. All right, we're at home. We're significant favorites, so we're going to go back to that. And yes, please. Actually, he is supposed to be support. My bad. 
All right, uh, let's see. Hoffman and Walter, almost injured. Hoffman and Walter are unregistered for Europa. That's disappointing. Uh, Cooper, yeah, that doesn't look good. Danny Olmo is out, unregistered. Joe Cooper. Wow. All right, well, looks like you are playing there, buddy. All right, submit the team. Let's get to it. Yeah, an improvement from our last outing against Chelsea. Hopefully we can kick these guys' ass like we did last time. Come on, boys. Get the defense up. Put up a wall. Oh. Chukwuma. Oh, look at that step over. Boy, he just bowled through there, didn't he? That was pretty impressive. Little header. Looks like the keeper flicks it wide. We'll reset from the other side. All right, Harris. Harris takes a touch. Man, we might be parked for corners all day. Third corner in the first two minutes of the match. Um, no. <laughs> Off the woodwork. Clear cut chance, woodwork. Seven shots in the first ten minutes. But they have weathered the storm. Now, can we somehow still capitalize? Let's give him a shout of encouragement. Keep it up. Oh, a little heel kick. Oh, he's trying to impress. Stolen by Strobel. Played out. Cooper makes a run. Crossed in. Chickwooma, number nine on the season. Good assist by the youngster. We just put him on our not needed list. I would say he was needed today. Good job. Eight shots to one. They're frustrated. Franaschini, nah, I know David Beckham, and you're no David Beckham. <laughs> they have yet to win a match, so we should roll this one. Concentrate, Garcia, playing it out from the back. Harris, lumped, Chikwuma on the run. Uh, his second goal. Why? Why are we shutting down? Don't do that. Oh, well. Still learning the little kinks on this, but if it's going to talk during uh, recording sessions, that's not going to be good. Uh, we need to turn that all the way up. Yeah, please. Oh, uh, I wonder if it's because I don't have any sound in the game. Ooh, that could be a thing, huh? All right, we're at halftime. All right, uh, prove a point. Yeah, go for it. Tell you what, real quick, let me just... Uh, We power these suckers down. We'll just leave it charging. Cool. Make sure those are. That's recording. All right, don't see anything in there. Come on, boys. Sorry about that. Just new thing. Got to deal with it. <laughs> Got to learn how to make it work. All right. A Targa. Oh, nice little dish pass. Good tackle. Coleman. LR, LR 
Monty. Up to Chikwuma playing that winger. Spot. I don't have anybody else out there, do I? I do not. Well, you know what? He's he's not playing bad. He has an assist. Everybody's actually playing well. Let's bring uh let's bring Vazdag on. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think we're good right here. All right, Ingram cuts inside. Ooh, a little bit of a long touch. Don't clap. That was a long shot. I don't like those. All right, Strobel, I would like to rest you. Mid-center. You know what? Let's give Declan. Uh, Declan's back. Let's get him uh, some playing time. Get him back into form because he is not... He is not in match sharpness at all. Brendan Taylor for Ingram. Let's do that. Praise. Fire it up. Come on. Push him back. Oh, hit it out. Down. Rice. Oh, Rice with a touch. Oh, look at the little step inside by Bozdag. Puts it home. His first goal of the season. He hadn't been playing a lot with Franachini uh, in the squad. So he's been rele Bozdag's been relegated to a reserve role. Back up. 27 shots to five. Cooper controls it. Franaschini lays it off to Cooper. El, Amara, El Amari. And that'll be a nice, easy 3 nothing win. Excellent efforts. Let's go ahead and finish the day. Another 666,000. Here's a question for you guys. So, you know I'm a Leeds fan, so of course we're in the championship. When I look at the numbers and having played as, a, you know, we played with Barnett earlier this year. I played with Leeds in FM18. I've played some Premier League sides. The pay discrepancy is completely astronomical. Now, Hear me out all the way before you jump to conclusions or, or answer the question. So I understand in the Premier League that you want to have enough money payouts to allow your top level clubs that are going to Champions League and Europa to be competitive. Certainly don't have an issue with that. Um, but is there a, you know, when you look at the championship sides, you know, because the clubs that get relegated get these astronomical parachute payments uh, which again don't mind those because the goal is to get those teams back in the premiere potentially but what would you think of you know if, if England or the Football Association would look at English football as an entity in you know the whole thing instead of individual layers would it do good to you know, because most of the clubs in the championship, who was the club this year? Was it was it? Um, oh, it was Swansea, I think. Didn't didn't that guy say he would sell the team for one dollar or one pound? He just said, just buy it from me for a for a pound and a dollar, and you know, just to get me out of it because I'm losing so much money, and you know, the only thing you have to guarantee is that you'll keep them here and you know, keep them competitive. So for anybody to come in as an owner outside of the Premier League, 
is a losing proposition. You've got to have the money and be willing to just throw money away. I mean, you know, would you be willing to go out outside your house, open the front door, walk down to the street, dump $8 million in the middle of the road and just light it on fire? Because that's basically what having a club in the championship is. And that's clubs that are complying with the FFP, uh, trying to be fiscally responsible, but you still can't put a club together even a club like Leeds that sells out every match and, you know, is on TV just about every week on Sky. You know, they, they are the club that, that seems to pull. So, you know, and not just Leeds, but Leeds, you know, Leeds loses money. And, and the owner has said, you know, hey, when he took over, he said, I've got like a three to five year window before I'll be tapped out as much as I can afford to lose if we don't make it to the Premier League. And, you know, of course, because I know Leeds, of course, uh, Cellini selling the ground, selling Ellen Road to uh, private investors, uh, which the current owner has finally brought bought that back to where it's club owned. But, you know, none of these clubs are making any money. None of these clubs, even at the salaries that they're paying their players, which are nowhere near the numbers being bantied around in the Premier League. So would it make some sense to cut, say, I don't know, $5 million from each team in the Premier League? And, you know, we've got how many clubs? 20. So that's 100, well, 5, 50, 5, 10, 50. That's $100 million dollars. You know, uh, and then, you know, split up between all the clubs. A hundred million dollars, and you filter that down and ration that through the next levels. You know, say give three or four million dollars to the championship, you know, a million dollars to, you know, League One, three quarters of a million to League Two, you know, whatever. Figure some number out that makes sense. And, you know, then you have the clubs like, uh, we started this save with uh, infield town, fan owned. They don't make any money, you know, hardly any money, hardly any attendance. You know, they pay crap for wages, you know, which because they can't afford any. You know, most of the guys are on non contracts. And then, you know, you get down to that level and they've got a little bit of money, you know, that they can pay these guys, you know, at least something for, you know, going out and playing football. I don't know, just it, it seems if you would look at it from a big picture, that would make sense. But anyway, the win, we have qualified. So we'll finish at least second. Uh, and then we have uh, Hertha and Kilmarnock and, uh, to finish out. So I don't think we need to finish up with those guys. So let's come back for... Um, let's plan on coming back for United and Villa. That'll be after group stage, and then we'll see where, you know, where we're going from there. Because we do have two more games left, but we've already qualified. And then we'll go from there. Anyway, as far as my question on the uh, financing, uh, let me know what you think. I don't know if that's ever been floated by, by the league or, or anything. But, you know, it would help football across the, you know, across Europe, you know. Uh, completely, I, in my opinion, just, you know, just thinking about it. I could be way off base, but anyway, uh, don't say no just because you don't want your team to give up 5 million bucks, or it may only be 3 million or 2 million or whatever. But, you know, if there could be some trickle-down effect of that money into the lower leagues, would that help the sport and the quality of the sport and keep owners afloat you know help owners stay profitable um across across all the leagues because you know this year we saw we saw an old an old club disappear i mean they closed up shop uh we've got another club that uh, you know took a point deduction so anyway you guys know all the stories about that stuff i'm just I, i've been thinking about it and you know just wondered you know what you guys thought Anyway, leave a like, subscribe, and we will see you guys next time. Much appreciated. Bye.